On November 10th, Ayatollah Sham HDS announced that its special forces attacked the position of the Syrian Arab Army SAA in the Turkmen Mount in northern Latakia. The terrorist group claimed that 10 Syrian soldiers were killed. Earlier, on the same day, the group claimed that its special forces killed 18 Syrian soldiers and 7 Russian service members during an attack of an operations room of the SAA in the village of El Tarbiya in the northern Hama countryside. Omar al Mahmoud, an HDS military commander, told the group's news outlet IBA that the attack was a response to an SAA attack on the position of Jais al Iza on the previous day. The attack reportedly left more than 23 Jais al Iza fighters and commanders dead. In both cases, HDS claims were not confirmed by any video or photo evidence. On November 11th, sporadic clashes between militants and the SAA continued in northern Hama and northern Latakia. Newly released satellite images on November 9th revealed that the Maymim airbase in the Syrian coastal governorate of Latakia is currently hosting 24 aircraft of the Russian Aerospace Forces. 8 Su-24, 6 Su-34, 4 Su-35 warplanes, an A-50 airborne early warning and control plane AEWNC, an IL-38 maritime patrol and submarine plane, an IL-20 signal intelligence plane, an IL-76 cargo plane, an AN-26 transport plane and an AN-76 cargo plane were spotted on the images. In October, satellite images revealed that Russian forces were building 1800 aircraft shelters in order to defend aircraft from possible rocket and UAV attacks. On November 10th, SAA artillery and rocket launches shelled ISIS fortifications in the area of El Safa. The shelling was reportedly the most violent since the beginning of the army operation two months ago. According to a source deployed on the ground, the shelling is part of ongoing preparations to launch a new ground attack on the terrorist group positions around El Safa. Also, an ISIS fighter who was captured by the SAA during the operation to save hostages captured in El Suwaida revealed that the terrorist group cell in El Safa is receiving direct military support from a US-led coalition base in the border area of El Tanaf. On November 9th, Mustafa Bali, the head of the Syrian Democratic Forces Press Center, claimed that SCF members and US troops participated in an airborne operation to capture a prominent ISIS leader in the province of Raqqa. No additional information was provided. In March 2017, the US-led coalition employed its troops to carry out an airborne assault to capture the Tabqa Dam from ISIS while SCF units were approaching the nearby town of Tabqa the Tabqa airport and the dam itself from several directions. Then, the SCF was also claiming that its fighters were actively participating in the operation. However, in fact, it appeared that most of the work was done by US-led coalition troops 